Georgia, what are you doing here? Oh, um, yes, yes, there's a start. On my first week's rent, like I'll promise I'll try to keep on top of it. On the dot, every week, scouts on her. Well, what's the matter? Don't you believe me? Oh, uh, didn't know you were moving in. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Oh, no, it's fine with me. Everything's fine with me. Yeah? Yeah, where are you going to sleep? Jamie's old room. He's gone. To make his fortune with Carmichael and Carmichael in Perth. Out of intensive care, that must be a good sign. You're making progress. Well, maybe it's not as bad as you first thought. Well, too early to tell yet. The fractured vertebrae has to have time to heal. But don't you concern yourself with that, Bonnie. You've got other things to concentrate on. Well, like what? Well, for a start, lying perfectly still. Any kind of movement could be dangerous. Well, what else? <laughs> There's no rush. Oh, I just want to get out of here. I feel so bad about Max just giving him a rough time like that. Oh, don't worry about him. He's got lots of friends with these, all right? One, two, three. Anyway, the best thing you can do for Max is to look after yourself. No, oh, I'm going to. I'm going to give it all that I've got. How is she? Well, so far, so good. Tell me straight. I don't want to make any rash predictions. All right. I'm trying to be as positive as I can for Bonnie's sake. But the spinal cord at the fracture site is still traumatised. We've just got to wait and see. That's all we can do. You're miserable. Me? Miserable? Ah, no way. Life goes on. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, yeah? What are you so happy about? I resigned from the force. I'm a civilian, and it feels great. You're out of a job and you're grinning? I'm looking forward to a new life. Yeah. That makes two of us. Hi. Maxim? Uh, no, he's not. Oh. Do you have any idea when he'll be back? Uh -uh, sorry. Well, do you mind if you sort of wait and hang around? Fine. What about with you? Everything's just fine. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Wide mouth frogs, right? Great having you to myself again. Sorry about lumbering you with Cody. No, it's okay. I'm a big girl now. Yeah. You can see that. Jack. Jack, you're insatiable. You want me to stop? No. It's just we need to talk. Jack. Jack. Will you help me with the Vic Baker story? No. Leave it alone, will you? I can't. It's important. Who to? To a whole lot of people. OK, to me too. Well, where are you going? Pop, get a real drink. What a lucky fella I am. <laughs> you come here, handsome. <laughs> How would you like a little treat? Mm. What do you have in mind? Tomorrow, breakfast in bed. What about tonight? You want breakfast now? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking. About what? This room. What's the matter with it? Well, it's not us. Hmm? Well, I don't think so, do you? We've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to change the public face of the pub. Now, what about the private side? Makes sense, I suppose. Wouldn't you love to have an ensuite? Mm hmm So we didn't have to go traipsing up and down the hallway all the time. And while we were at it, maybe a, a walk-in robe? I didn't come to mention it. 
Sure. Assuming, of course, that it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Mm. Mm. And this colour scheme, it's all so overstated. Is it? Yes, I'd like to see it something in soft, muted tones. Whatever you say, so. You sure? Yeah. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Anybody want to change this? Did you say something? Good morning. Morning. There you are. Eggs a la Sally. Oh, my favorite. Bon appetit. Do I really deserve all this? Of course you do. You've been working very hard lately, and you're very good to me. Am I? Mm. You mean like redecorating the room? Oh, I know it's going to be a bit inconvenient for a while. But just think when it's all finished, when it all looks brand new, we'll forget all that. All what? Oh, the noise, the dirt, sleeping in separate rooms. Separate rooms? Separate rooms mean separate beds. Only for a couple of nights. And you don't want to give up the revenue on a double, do you? These renovations have cost... Uh, don't remind me. We'll discuss all the details later. Now, you eat up your eggs before they get cold. I don't care about cold eggs. I do mind about separate rooms. Eat. I got someone having to look at the room fairly shortly. And we don't want some big butch builder gawping at you in bed, do we? Hey. Well, look, I'm sorry. What about? Oh, uh, catching you like that. There's something wrong with the way I look. Nope. Nope, nothing at all. How are you feeling, Swain? In a word, the pits might be worse. Oh. But thanks for asking. That's a shame, because you were feeling fine last night. Yeah, well, that was last night. I go up and down like a yo-yo. Get used to it. It's Jojo and the yo-yo. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, why are you going in? It's not your fault. Of course not. You're embarrassed. About what? Me. Me embarrassed about... I'm going to take a shower. Well, you better make it a cold one. Uh -huh. That's to be told. I know. But he's never shown the slightest consideration for Bonnie in the past. But he is her father, and as you know, us fathers, we worry. Oh, by the way, Nikki ran when she woke up. She spent mm. the night at night. Yeah, I know. I just sent him home this morning. Oh? Why? Well, he came in looking like the dog's breakfast. Poor oh, guy. Now, there's someone who's genuinely concerned. Max was just doing his job. Unfortunate, unlucky, but definitely not Colton. What about this blood alcohol thing? Oh, they'd never make it stick. It was way below the danger level. <laughs> it was a cough remedy. You'd have to swallow a couple of gallons. So he's definitely in the clear? Yeah. No, oh, unofficially. Doesn't stop him blaming himself, though. No. Excuse me, George, you want it on the phone. It's mm. Mr. Tate. Well, <sighs> that. Guess what? Hmm? I've finally persuaded Ernie to change that room of ours. Really? I thought he'd never You've get... got great taste. What colour would you choose? Well, inside, uh, I'd probably go for cool pastel shades. That might be a bit conservative for you, though. Oh, conservative is wonderful. Have you clapped eyes on the current colour scheme? No, no reason. Good morning. What's good about it? You OK? Firing all cylinders. Can't you tell? Oh. No, of course I'm enjoying the job. I know how important it is, Mark. I'm going to give it my best shot. Well, it's extremely timely. With so many small businesses going to the wall. Why, thank you, but I already have a man in my life. 
smart. Let's just stick to business, OK? <laughs> Yeah, I've rung Vic Baker. He's on side. No, can't see any problems. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. Anything? How am I doing? Your condition's satisfactory. Is that all? I want to be tearing along in leaps and bounds. <laughs> It takes time. You can't expect miracles. Not even a small one. I'll see you later. Oh, not on duty today, Constable. Not today, not ever. I quit. Uh-huh. Is it okay if I visit Bonnie right now? Uh, sure. But uh, don't stay too long. She needs as much rest and quiet as possible. Okay. Hi. It's nice of you to drop by. Just a flying visit, doctor's orders. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, as well as can be expected, I suppose. So, are you the model patient? Me? I don't want to be any sort of patient. I just want to get out of here. Hang in there. You'll be fine. How's Max taking it? You know Max. He'll be all right. Sam, just tell me the truth. Nikki, I told you I wasn't hungry. Max, you've got to have something to eat. Just try it at least. Thanks. Do you want to talk? There's nothing to say. You shouldn't leave it bottled up inside, Max. What's bothering you? There's no point in telling you. How do you know unless you try? Because it doesn't make sense. I always try to do the right thing. I do. I know. Now, now one of my best friends is hurt. She may never walk again. Bonnie told you that it wasn't your fault. It was nobody's fault. It was just one of those things. It's not one of those things, Nikki. I was behind the wheel. I hit her. Take it easy. I can't. Just like you can't imagine what I feel. I'm trying. Well, don't. Nobody asked you to come round. So please leave. I'm sorry. Nikki, please. Yeah? Look, I won't do anything that might expose you. I'm not stupid. I don't see what you're so upset about. Well, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, making it as tough as you can for me to do mine. You're gonna do the story anyway, right? Yes. I've already spoken to Vic, got his clearance. Yeah, why don't you just do it, eh? Listen, in case you hadn't heard, times are tough. This recession's hurting a lot of people. It's cutting deep. Ah, oh, just do your story, but leave me out of it. You're not listening. That's what I've been saying. I'm off to see Vic now. He's got some papers I can use to front the bank. Well, aren't you going to wish me luck? Luck? Don't take it personally. It's not against you. It's probably going to take Max a while to get over this. For how long? I don't know. Could be until Bonnie gets better. Poor old Max. He, he just can't understand how this could happen to him. You said I could find the swing. How'd you play? I've got some work to do at home. You never let me do anything. Charlie? You don't. You always spoil it. You're mean. I hate you. I hate you. Charlie? Charlie! If I would have spoken to my mum like that, I would have got a smack. No, I don't think that'll do much good at the moment. What's the matter? Nothing! Do you want to play? I want to go home. Well, if you're a good girl, you might even get an ice cream. I don't want to be good. Don't you? Look, why don't you come with me and get out of Mummy's hair? OK? Yeah. Here's the key to the flat. Come on, Dracula. I'll bite you. <sighs> throwing tantrums at the drop of a hat. And she's having nightmares. Are you OK? The last couple of months haven't been easy on either of us. I'm OK. Hey, I'm sorry. 
Forget it. I'm fine. Nikki? Ma. Hi. Can I come in? There's no point in blaming yourself. It's not right. It's not helping anyone. We will love you. We don't want to see you hurt. Thanks, Martha. I'm not a very good person to be around at the moment. There's no point in hiding. No. But I should. Everything I say hurts someone. Nikki came around before and I yelled at her. Max. Martha, this is something I need to work out on my own. We're family, you know. George, Nikki, and I. We're always there for you. Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have come into work today if you didn't feel up to it. <sighs> Rather be here than moping around at home. At least I've got something to do. Oh, Sal. I feel like a punching bag. Can't take a trick where guys are concerned. Well, that's it. No more Benito. I've heard that refrain before. Not from me? From most women, including myself. Come on, you and earn a rock solid. That's got more to do with luck than good management. Now, you cheer up. It's all going to get better. Through here. Take a seat, Miss Fielding. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? It's about Vic Baker's wreckage yard. Big Baker. I'm a reporter investigating the way the bank's been treating Mr. Baker. Regardless of what you may have heard, there's no story here for you. No? Why is it then that after 30 years the bank's foreclosing on Mr. Baker? I don't have his details in front of me. I do. Look, I'm not prepared he to discuss... He owes 35000 on an original mortgage of 250000 Now, by comparative standards, that's not much. He's only fallen behind in the last year because times are so tough. Tough for banks too, Miss Fielding. Is it the bank's usual policy to destroy a good client? I'm afraid that's something I can only discuss with the client. You're wasting your time. I don't think so. Personally, I believe that the public would be bored with yet another TV beat-up. It's all been done before. Maybe. Now, if you don't mind... Oh, is it true that a member of the bank's board is involved with a company intending to purchase Mr. Baker's land? Is it? Good morning, Miss Fielding. Thank you for your time. Jojo, mm. jo, have you seen Nikki? <laughs> Sorry, no. Is there anything I can do? I said something to her before. I wanted to apologize. Everything I do hurts somebody. Oh, cut it out, Max. Is this about Bonnie? I want to go see it. Give her all the support I can, but I don't know what to say. Oh, talk to her like you're talking to me. I can't, Jojo. I keep rerunning the accident in my head. I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to stop the car. You can't change it, Max. What's past is past. Sure, Bonnie would like to know that she can rely on you. But if you'd seen the damage, it... what if she doesn't get better? Nobody's saying that, are they? No. I'd be the last person they'd tell anyway. Oh, Max. And I bet Bonnie could do with a bright, cheery visitor right now. Come on. It just takes guts. And that's something you're not short of, is it?
Hi. <laughs> You've got some colour in your cheeks. Mm. Looks as if you're on the main. Oh, good news too, love. We've uh, been in touch with your father. He's on his way. Well, why is he coming? Well, you, we thought you said you wanted to see him. You asked for him. He didn't even bother to call me. We couldn't reach him. Oh, no, because he made sure of that. Well, I've had plenty of time to think about this, and I don't want to see him. I never want to. Bonnie. You guys are my family now. That's all I want. I don't want him here. I'm supposed to be looking after you. Do you want to get me into trouble? What's wrong? Charlie's locked herself in her bedroom and she won't come back. She won't even talk to me. Charlie? Charlie, are you okay? Charlie, stop being silly. Go away! Oh, you're all thumbs, Reg. Give me that. We haven't got all day. Go on, get! Jojo can come upstairs and help redecorate. I've got to get her mind onto something else. She'd probably want to do the whole room out in chrome and leather. That's what I had in mind. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Come on, come with me. What do I do? It's what you're going to do. Ernie! You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sally's a fine woman. I'd do anything for her except... Except? Except she wants to redecorate our room. <laughs> You'd have to do the building. Nah, not me. That'd be a disaster. Well, what's your problem? I know it's over the top, but I kind of like it the way it is. You want to keep it the way Abby left it? Hmm? Funny thing about change. You try to pick the pieces up of your life and put them together again, they don't quite fit. There's always a few bits left over. That room's one of the bits I'd like to keep. Yeah, that's a tough one, all right. What? Oh, Explain to Sally about Abby. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't hurt her for anything in the world. Can't but... live in the past, mate. I suppose not. Just don't know what's got into her. Charlie, are you coming out? No. Look, if you've got some sort of problem, I think you should come out and talk to your mother about it, don't you? No! Please, honey. Go away. Go away! Charlie, if I've done something wrong, then I'm sorry. It's all your fault. What is? Daddy! Charlie, why don't you come out here and tell me? You made the police take him away. I'll never see him again. You don't understand. Daddy did something that was bad. I want him back. Well, maybe you should get the whole joint done out in leopard skin. Yeah, lots of mirrors and you've got red lights. Leopard skin? Soft red lights. Yeah, well, it is a bedroom. Yes, it is a bedroom, Jojo, not a bordello. Can you honestly see Ernie in leopard skin? <laughs> uh, now, uh, you want the ensuite to go over there, right? Ensuite? Ah, oh, really going up, market? <laughs> yes, and the walk-in robe. I'd better go and check the plumbing in the next room. OK. You know, Ernie wanted Bazza and Lazar to do this job, but uh, I had to put my foot down. No way. Oh, well, maybe that's why he suggested them. Because he knew you'd say no and... Maybe you'd forget about renovating. Ah, now it's funny you should say that. He's been so good about all the other renovations, but he's really dragging his heels on this room. And it beats me why. Have a look at it. Oh, probably shouldn't say anything. No, go on, spit it out. Tact doesn't become you. Well, Abby had this room done out like this. He's probably still got a soft spot for it. I see. So I might have overstepped the mark. Oh, it's your room now. I really had to push him. Oh, there you are. Jojo? Hi. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about your plans. Hmm? And, uh, I know I haven't been very helpful, but you're right. It's high time this old room had a facelift. What changed your mind? Nothing. Come on. This is the wife you're talking to. Exactly. And what my wife wants, she gets. 
From now on, you've got my full 100% cooperation. Whatever you want to do is okay with me. Oh, my darling. You are the sweetest thing. Oh. these bumpers that were stacked there. Sold. And a set of doors. V8 engine that was there. Sold. Oh, you're doing well. Thank you. What's this with Roxanne? Bruce sent her up. I told I you. you changed your mind after you saw her again. Well, you thought wrong. Stirred up the bank. Now we'll see some action. They ran. They're on their way to see me. Great. Guys, come with me. We're going to sit up in the office. When they get here, just start rolling. Don't wait for a cue. Hui! What? I don't like this. Tough. You don't know what's involved here, Vic. Look, it's my yard, and it's my story. Whose side are we on, anyway? If you don't like it, you can take a powder. Because we're going to belt these bank johnnies for six. I'd really like to talk to you, but it seems a bit funny with this door between us. Charlie? Not funny. It wasn't meant to be a joke. What is it? Don't you like me anymore? You're OK. So we're still friends? Sure. Great. I was beginning to uh, wonder about that one. Aren't you getting lonely in there? No. Why not? Because I've got Jemima. It's her favourite doll. So Jemima's keeping you company, is she? Well, I think I might tell you something, seeing as we're still friends. What? You and Jemima aren't going to be able to stay in there forever, you know. Why not? Because eventually you're going to get hungry and you're going to have to eat and you're going to be thirsty. Aren't you getting thirsty? A bit. Just a bit. Should I? Coming out? No. Can I come in then? Can you bring some lemonade? Sure. Deal. This will make you feel like a new woman. Oh, I hope so, because I'm so bored with the old one. Oh, you sound better already. Excuse me, what are you doing? Dad! Bonnie. Mr. Tate, would you mind waiting until we finished? She's my daughter. I'd like to talk to Mr. her now. Mr. Tate, please. I'll see that a doctor hears about this. I am her doctor. Would you mind waiting outside until Bonnie's ready for you, Mr. Tate? Won't do him any harm to cool his heels for a while. these soft, muted colours down there. Whatever you say, sir. Now, we'll put the walk-in robe here and through that, the ensuite. Oh, half a sec. If we put all that there, we'll lose the use of the room next door. Only half of it. Well, what are we going to do with half a room? We make that the walk-in robe and ensuite for the room on the other side and call it the honeymoon suite. I thought this was going to be the honeymoon suite. One for us and one for the public. I don't know, Sal. Look... This thing's getting to be bigger than Ben-Hur. I thought I was just up for a quick paint job. But if we charge a premium on the honeymoon suite, we'll break even, and we might even make a bit extra. Yeah. I'll think about it. Look, it won't cost much. I've found a good builder. He's given me a good quote. Oh, it's cheap. I like him already. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Have you got a, uh, a wiring... Hood! Put and patch it. Crusher Carter. <laughs> oh, put. <laughs> Does she know? She knows it's a possibility, and that's all it is right now. She thinks she'll walk out of here. What are the 
chances. Well, she just might do it. Well, thank you, Dr. Pill. A uh, couple more things, Mr. Tate. It's most important that Bonnie stays calm and that she moves as little as possible. Uh, see Bonnie now? Don't upset her. I don't need you to tell me how to treat my daughter. Hey, darling, how are you? I'm sorry I wasn't around when this happened. I, I'll never forgive myself. There's not much that you could have done, Dad. No, but I, I should have been here when you needed me. But I am now, so I don't want you to worry about anything. Hmm? All you have to do is just relax and, and get better. Understand? I'll take care of anything else. Thanks. <laughs> You know what she's done? Who? What? Hired Crusher Carter to rebuild our bedroom. Yeah? All he'll do is rebuild my face. Who's Crusher Carter? He was the bane of my life at school. Where's Reg? Where's my drink? Drink? Hey, Reg, that brandy, mate, quick! When you're Reg, you're a lifesaver. Do you want to kill yourself? No, I'd rather it be at my hands than crushes. No way. Oh, at least let me die with a smile on my face. Get rid of it, Reg. Oh, Reg! Property. Whose property, Mr. Baker? It's still mine for a couple of more weeks. You've no right to be here, so get out. Are you deaf? Mr. Baker, a word of advice. Yeah, and what's that? I'd keep things quiet if I were you. Well, you're not me. I thought this was a free country. Ain't a man got the right to speak his mind anymore? Of course. But not to the media. They have a nasty habit of making things turn grubby. Is that so? One of them's been asking a lot of questions. Good on her. I take it you're in full cooperation with her, then. What if I am? Let me remind you, old man, that you are in a very vulnerable position. So? <laughs> Let's make this perfectly clear. I'm warning you about that... About what? Yes, about what? I'm sure a lot of people would be interested. He stole my first girlfriend, Brenda Parkinson. Last time I saw him, he gave me a bloody nose. That's why it's a shame. Well, how long ago was that? Not long. Forty years-ish. Forty years-ish? Was that before Captain Cook? Oh, Jojo. You're a kid, then. A young lad. Yeah, well, now you're both grown-ups. And all that kid stuff should have been forgotten a long time ago. Some people hold a grudge. What can I do for you, Crusher? Like a word with you, Prud, if you don't mind. Out the back. Out the back, you mean? Outside? Yeah. Now, if it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. help my own daughter. Sometimes you can be too close. Better? Yep. Not thirsty anymore? Nope. Now you're gonna tell me what's making you so sad? Come on, Charlie. It's not like you to lock yourself in a room and not talk to anyone. What's up? Okay. Well, why don't you tell Jemima what's wrong? Jemima knows. Does she? We talk about it all the time. And what does Jemima think about it? But there's only ever going to be the two of us. How do you mean? Everyone else goes away. 
I'm sorry, I don't understand. Daddy went away, then Jeremy was here for a little while, then he went too, and Daddy came back and he went away again. Mummy's still here. But if she goes away? Charlie, your mother will never leave you. She promised she wouldn't, but grown-ups say things I don't mean. Not all grown-ups. Mummy said the three of us would always be together, but Daddy's gone. We don't trust you anymore, do we, Jemima? Don't you want equal time? This is your chance to put forward the bank side of the story. Back off, Miss Fielding. Pardon? Come on, we're all ears. They've got a camera here. Get it! Wait! Too well to me. Well, that's about to change. Do you know anything about first aid? Not a lot. Why? I'm oh, just checking. How about you, Reg? Is there something I don't know? No, it's just man's business. Ernie and Crusher are out there settling a few old scores. <gasps> what? Yeah, well, thanks a lot, Food. It makes me feel a whole lot better. No trouble, old mate. Glad to oblige. What's wrong? Well, everything's settled all right? Yeah. Crusher just wanted to know where the sprinkler feeds were. I told him. It's my building, after all. I know where everything is. So everything's all right between you two. We don't have to look for another builder. Why would I want another builder? I wouldn't dream of it. And you're happy with the cost of the ensuite? Hang the cost. I've got Crusher Carter working for me. When I snap my fingers, he jumps. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Everything she did was so that you two could stay together. She wouldn't risk losing you for anything in the world. Then why does she tell Fibs? She didn't mean to. What she said about her family staying together, she meant that. Sometimes things happen and there's nothing you can do about it. It's sad and I know it affects the kids. But the important thing is it doesn't mean that you're not loved. Your daddy loves you too. Yeah? Yeah, he told me. He didn't want to leave you, but he had to. He did something wrong and he had to pay for it. Will I ever see him again? Yeah, I'm sure you will. Your mummy will always be here to care for you, Charlie. And you know something else? Right now, she needs you just as much as you need her. She's done it pretty tough lately. She needs a little love and affection herself. What do you think about that? I'm sorry, I was naughty. I love you, Molly. I love you too, darling. Mark, no dramas at the pub, and I'm not feeling so hot. <sighs> Join the club. The old losing your boyfriend blues. You got it bad. What do you mean? I don't have a boyfriend anyway. Well, what about Max? <sighs> Max cares more about Bonnie than what he does about me. Well, that's because she's in hospital, and he feels bad about what's happened. No, there's more to it than that. 
But don't get me wrong. I don't mind. She needs all the love she can get at the moment. Yeah. Then why'd you come here to see me or Sam? Max. To say goodbye. Oh, sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Come on, Nick. Do you say goodbye to the idea of ever having Max as a boyfriend? I don't know how you can say that. But it's true, isn't it? Mr. Tate? The last time I saw you, I was going to fire you. Now I wish I had, and maybe this wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, Mr. Tate. Don't even think about seeing Bonnie. <laughs> You'll be sorry you ever drew breath. I'm going to sue you for more money than you've ever dreamt of. Who is a nasty piece of work, that Roger Tate? Now, Hot Lips is in the mood for love, as is Hawkeye. But then, what's new?